This video is about how to fix high CPU usage while gaming, and most of the time it happens for no clear reason. So in today's video, we're going to cover every setting you need to completely get rid of high CPU usage or CPU bottlenecks while gaming. After applying these optimizations, I literally doubled my FPS and my games feel so much smoother now. Make sure to watch the video till the end and all I ask in return is that you subscribe and drop a like on this video. Before we begin, make sure to create a system restore point so if anything goes wrong, you can easily revert back. To do that, search for create a restore point, click on your system drive and click create. Give it a name like before CPU fix and hit create. Once it's done, we're ready to start. The first step is to disable background apps and power throttling that cause your CPU to stay busy even when you're not gaming. Press Windows plus R, type gpedit.msc and hit enter. Now follow this path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, power throttling settings. Double click on turn off power throttling and set it to enabled. Click apply and OK. Next, go to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy. Find let Windows apps run in the background and set it to enabled and set it to force denied from the drop down. This completely stops Windows Store apps and background tasks from eating your CPU. After applying this, restart your PC once. Now, this is the most powerful part, the ultimate CPU performance pack. You can download it from the link in the description. Once you download and extract it, open the main folder. You'll see three folders, CPU optimization, CPU priority, quick CPU. Open the first folder called CPU Optimization. Inside, you'll see registry files like Disable Game DVR, Disable Windows Telemetry, Disable Driver Searching, MaxFPS.reg, Maintain Low Latency.reg, Optimize CPU for Gaming.reg. Run all these registry files one by one and click Yes when prompted. These tweaks disable unnecessary background tasks, logging and telemetry that cause your CPU to stay at high usage. They also improve scheduling, responsiveness and reduce DPC latency for smoother gameplay. Next, go to CPU Priority. Here you'll see two folders, AMD and Intel. Open the one that matches your CPU. Inside are registry files that optimize how Windows prioritizes threads and core scheduling for your processor. Just run them all and confirm with yes. This ensures your CPU focuses more on your games rather than system background processes. The last folder is Quick CPU. Inside, you'll find the Quick CPU setup.msi installer. Run it and install Quick CPU. Once it's open, you'll see options like processor performance, parking index, and frequency scaling. Here's what to do. Set core parking index to 100%. This ensures all cores stay active. Set frequency scaling to 100%, no downclocking. Set turbo boost index to 100% as well. Then click apply and OK. Now your CPU will always stay fully unlocked and responsive during gaming. Next, let's fix your power plan settings. Search for edit power plan and open it. Click on power options and make sure you're using high performance plan. Do not use ultimate performance because it keeps your CPU running at full speed, even on idle, causing high temperatures and 100% usage even when you're not gaming. Now click on change plan settings, change advanced power settings. Under processor power management, set minimum processor state 0%, maximum processor state 100%. Also expand PCI Express, link state power management and set it to off. And under hard disk, turn off hard disk after, set it to never. Click apply and OK. This ensures your CPU and GPU run efficiently without unnecessary throttling or overheating. Press Windows plus R, type msconfig and press enter. Go to the boot tab, click advanced options and make sure number of processors is unchecked. This allows Windows to automatically use all cores properly. Now go to the services tab, Check hides all Microsoft services at the bottom, then disable anything unnecessary like update assistance, third-party updaters, or audio utilities you don't use. 
click apply and OK, then restart your PC. This will stop hidden background services from constantly using your CPU. Now before ending this video, here are two final Windows optimizations. First one is HPET, which stands for High Precision Event Timer. And while it sounds good, it actually adds latency on modern systems. Disabling it helps reduce input lag and keeps your frame pacing more consistent. Here's how to do it. Press Windows plus X and open Device Manager. Expand the System Devices section. Look for High Precision Event Timer in the list. Right-click it and select Disable Device. That's it. It's disabled at the hardware level, but we also need to disable it through the command line to make sure Windows doesn't use it. Search for Command Prompt, right-click and choose Run as Administrator. Then type these two commands one by one. bcdedit slash delete value. Use Platform Clock bcdedit slash set use platform tick yes press enter after each command once that's done restart your pc after reboot your system will use a more efficient timer instead of hpet which means less cpu overhead less latency and smoother gameplay you can even test input latency differences using tools like timerbench or latency mon next let's disable core isolation this is a Windows security feature that uses virtualization to protect memory, but it also eats CPU cycles and can cause noticeable frame drops or stutters in games. To disable it, search for Windows Security in the Start menu. Go to Device Security. Under Core Isolation, click Core Isolation Details. Turn Memory Integrity to Off. You'll need to restart your PC for this change to take effect. Once disabled, you'll instantly free up CPU resources that were being used for background virtualization tasks. That means lower CPU usage, faster response time, and smoother frame delivery, especially noticeable in CPU-heavy games like Warzone, Apex, or Fortnite. Once you've done all these steps, you'll notice your CPU usage dropping from 100% to around 40-60% to depending on the game. Your system will run cooler, stutters will be gone, and your FPS will become much more stable. And that's it guys, that's how you fix 100% CPU usage while gaming on Windows. If this video helped you, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment below how much performance boost you got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.